so I got hopefully this goes through I got 13 minutes nowadays I can't I can't even record on this shit no more cuz I'm recording this tells me that I'm recording but after the recording is over it only show 10 minutes of my recording and I could be talking for like 40 minutes 50 minutes and it's like when they're so scared of the things that I'm putting out there that they don't want that shit to go through feel me but I don't spoke for whole 40 minutes gave some good advice and Oh, that shit was taken away, man. That shit crazy, but I'm going to summarize it for y'all. If you own a business, right, and um, you don't want people to come in there, just put the sign up and say, you are not allowed in my business. Instead of just providing bad services intentionally, knowingly, you feel me? Just be like, yo, this person is not welcome. That's it. And just call it a day. Now, I mean, do like the old people used to do back in the days. Not old whites used to do back in the days when they said no colored or brown, white, no, brown and Mexicans a lot. You could do that. You feel me? I could start doing that. At least they had the decency to do that. These people would just smile in your face and just welcome you in and serve and give you this shittiest service as ever. Try to kill you slowly type shit. You feel me? That's a civil war going on. I just got to gotta put people on because that's what I do. I put people on because a lot of people are scared to talk about these things. And I just got to let people know. And it's not just white people. or It's whites, blacks, Mexicans, other Hispanics, and everybody's doing that shit. So it's like something that we need to talk about before it gets totally out of hand. You feel me? You can't content. It calls to hate, man. It really does cause to hate. Like, that shit both sides is losing so you might as well just talk about it but all this time i was recording that shit just recording it just <laughs> it was like useless but i already see they're trying to attack the way it's crazy like i was doing all that recording talking and i'm like i looked at my phone it didn't even record it didn't record so i think it's better if i start they need to be watching my video so i like to look forward when I'm speaking so they know that so sometimes when I look away I guess they turn they take the camera off type shit I don't know how they do that shit with my phone and everything else like that but they scared of the things that I'm putting out there so I'm not gonna do the, um, those long conversations 40 50 minutes my shit gonna be like 10 and I'm just gonna put it up you feel me and they gonna paint you as if you, as if you crazy because they're nervous, feel me? If somebody's really, really crazy, you stay away from that person. People who are really, really crazy, and I've seen that right on the train or the subway or everything else, people remove themselves from that person. They don't get closer to that person because they don't. the person who's crazy, you don't know what they're going to do next. So that's why you are, people are very cautious about people like that. They just remove them. But they try to laugh at you like he's crazy that I know he's not he's not crazy in a dangerous way he gets crazy in a funny way <laughs> then they try to hit you and I'm like you describing yourself like <laughs> like if he's crazy then why are you bothering him you feel me so they just try to put that picture out there so it can isolate you people don't take you serious Can't even talk here. These people want to station right where I'm at so they could come on, keep on moving, man. So, what time is it? 50, almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, so they try to make it seem like you're crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm telling nothing but the truth, so help me, God. You feel me? So you just gotta watch out for these people. They try to intimidate you, try to put people around you. You feel me like they try to put people that's bigger than you or like in groups sections and everything else try to intimidate you all that shit do not let it happen do not do not let them intimidate you in any form or shape you just got to stand firm like you know you got to be firm on your ground don't ever let them intimidate you in any form or shape and don't you ever 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 become them you feel me because the pressure can be so overwhelming sometimes that 
they will have you do things for them too while they're still attacking you. It doesn't stop them from stop attacking you. They will actually make it seem like they stop attacking you and have you attack other people. In turn, you can't tell, you can't really, you can't even stand on the, you can't even, once you start doing what they're doing, you can't point the finger at them and be like, but you did this. They're going to point back and be like, you did this. You did this. So don't ever give them no excuses. You feel me? Do not become them. Be better than them. You feel me? They're going to try to take away from you so they can have more value in what they have. But truly, they have no value. You feel me? So do not join the circus. You feel me? Don't even be a circus. That's some clown shit. You feel me? So... Do not become them. That's the last thing you want to do is become them. Do not become them at all. You feel me? They try to intimidate you with positions that they hold. Like, hey, I am, I am, the, I am in charge of this. I am a manager. I am this and I am a, this and I'm that. And I'm a president of this. They try to just use these positions that is held in different places to try to intimidate you. And some people are even in weaker positions more than you and they still try to act like they try to diminish you to the point where they be like look I am over you so they can feel superior over you and use these things to intimidate you to basically say if, it, if it's somebody who's higher than you they try to use that position to make it seem like they can fire you you feel me or they can take something away from you and have you thinking about they, they probably they, they probably know about you they dig up your history and everything else like that so they just try to use these things. They probably try to use your kids and everything else to make it seem like, look, this, this, you don't tell. These are the people that you should be worried about. This is, you need this person in your life, but don't let that shit intimidate you. Always stand up for what is right. Always. They're not strong as they pose, and the reason why they gotta go so hard because they're actually weak. There's always somebody above them. Shout out to all the real women out there, by the way. Anyway, right back to it. So, do not let that shit intimidate you in any form of shit. You just gotta, like, you gotta, I gotta, you gotta stand, I gotta stand on what is right. So, I don't let that shit intimidate me. I always, you know what I mean? They can't, the reason why they gotta do all these things because they're actually scared. That's why they have to do these things to intimidate you. Because if they wasn't scared of anything else, you wouldn't even be a thought. They'll start thinking about those that they need to do that thing to. But the reason why they got to slow down and show you all these higher positions or show you sometimes people who don't have money always flashing money. You feel me? The loudest one in the room is always the one who's scared. So when you see people doing too much, that means they're overstepping their boundaries or they're not really about what they said they are. You feel me? And that's just the truth of the matter. I can't even look at nobody. I can't even look at nobody without them being jealous. Is this all good, baby? Like it's back, boy, baby. Yeah. So basically, I got two more minutes to talk to y'all, cause that's how I go. I'm going to be recording from now on. It's not going to be 10, 20 minutes. I had so much info on another video, that shit is gone. It do happens. Feel me? Tap into your phone and all that shit. Try to distort. But, now I got three minutes. But this is what they do. Feel me? Do not let them hold a title or a position over your head. It's basically, imprison you with that idea. Like, okay. This is like, you know, you know what you got to do, you know what I mean? I can put you in this place, and I can put you in that place. <laughs> they, try, they try to use these things just to to, to, to make it seem like it's, it's like your life depend on this. Trust me, man. There's always something better out there when you stand up for something that's right. It's always much, much better, a hundred times better. So do not be a victim of such things, you feel me? 
But that's just the topic for the morning. I mean, if you're on this journey and you want to stand up for what is right, you just, it's not an easy road. You feel me? It's like, you feel me? It's not something that you got. I, I, as soon as I preach good, what people going to be known? Once you start speaking the truth, it shakes the demon up in them. It becomes agitated. You feel me? Some people get agitated when they hear the truth. You feel me? And it's like the movies when the preacher's preaching out the scripture. The scripture is supposed to be pure truth. So when a demon hears it, they like, start going all crazy in an individual. And we didn't even know that nigga was a demon at first. He didn't he didn't even know he had a demon in him. Because sometimes they're doing these things without even knowing. You understand? So once you start speaking the truth and everything else like that, you're going to agitate a lot of people. You will agitate a lot of people. So you just got to prepare yourself for these things. You feel me? And don't, don't be a seasonal truth teller. When things get hard, you be like, all right, shit, man, it's getting too hard. All right, man, let me just sugarcoat these niggas and, you know what I mean, put a little bit of salt on this so they can feel a little better. Now, you got to keep going. You gotta, that's the only way you're going to cast out a demon. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You know what I mean? Put, put, your, put, your, put your scarf on. You know what I mean? <laughs> they be putting the scarf, this whole thing on, right? The, clay, the Catholic preach, they put their shit on. You got to go, man. It's going to be a... You just got to keep going, man. Feel me? So I just had to let you niggas know real quick, like, if you can provide the right services, like, don't even do it. There's no need for you to do that. If you can, just put the sign up on your window that says that no Negroes allowed or no this person allowed. I do not want to serve to you instead of going that route. Feel me? You don't have to repeat something that has already been repeated in this country's history, you feel me? The only people that keep doing, repeating these kind of things are new to it. That's why I said when a person have a new technology and they didn't earn it or go through the trials and tribulations of the, of doing so, they don't know how to use it, you feel me? So they, they're bound to repeat those history. History can only be repeated by those who do not know it. If I know what, what the history of that is like, I know not to repeat it because I know the consequences of what could happen if I repeat those mistakes. But a person who repeats those history has not learned from history or do not know of that history. You feel me? So they turn to repeat those history. And it's scary to somebody who knows and it's like, damn, because you repeating something that was so devastating, what makes you think that the same result is going to happen again? Especially when you back something up into a corner. What do you think? Especially when they know what to do to come out of that corner. Like, we know. It's, it's, it's funny how when it was the first time around, it was shocking to you. But then the second time around, you already know what to do. So you're kind of scared of the idea of what I could do to this person. You feel me? So it's like people who do stuff like that do not know. They are ignorant. So just forgive them and do not do what they do. Do not ever, 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 ever do what they do. All right, man. I'm going to go in now. Alright, that's it for the day.